book of Matthew, chapter 24, verse 12. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. Philadelphia police also investigating the latest murder in the city. The deadly shooting happened a little before midnight on the 3400 block of North 16th Street in Tioga. One man was shot over 70 times on the porch and killed. The motive for the one man was shot over 70 times on the porch and killed. The motive for the shooting is unclear and no arrests have been made. First and foremost, before I get started with this lesson, I would like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai Bahashim, Ra Kahakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rule well and have taught me this truth. Peace and salutations unto the hopeful elect. The temple of King David scattered through the four corners of the earth. And to you I say, Shalawan. A shalawan to you, sincere Akim. Shalawan to you, sincere Akwaf. Shalawan to the hopeful elect. Now, this is going to be a real quick lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. And uh, let's go ahead and bring that, that precept back out, man. This is the book of St. Matthew, chapter 24, verse 12. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. You see that? And. I want to do this lesson here real quick, man, because it's a lot of stuff that's happening, man. You see that? It's so much stuff that's happening. A man like myself, you know, I'm having a hard time keeping up, man. You see that? There, yes. And this is how you know, right, that we are in, we are literally at the end, man. You see that? I would be surprised if this place continues to the year 2025. You see that? There's a whole lot of judgment going forth out here, man, for you so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans. Did you hear what this news article said, man? This guy here was shot over 70, he was blicked at over 70 times. You see that? So if he got hit more than 70 times, then there was at least over 100 rounds. You see that? And hey, man... You know, this is why, this is why scriptures, matter of fact, let's go ahead and grab that real quick, man. All right, you heard the article. And I'm going to grab some more articles here. All right, let's, let's go ahead and grab this. This is the book of Hebrews, chapter 10, verse 31. And we should all know this. It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power, Yahweh. You see that? Hey, man. All right, this is a fearful thing, man. You see that? 70 times. The Lord wanted him gone. The Lord allowed those spirits that were created for vengeance to come after that dude, and they did exactly what they were told to do. I don't know what this dude did, but whatever he did, right, it was judgment, man. You see, that's a matter of fact. Let's go ahead and grab that, and I'm going to grab some. I got two more articles. And like I say, you know, just something real quick through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. This is why we should repent, man, right? Repent and pray. This is the book of Job, chapter 4, verse 7. And it said, and it reads, Remember, I pray thee, whoever perished being innocent, or where were the righteous cut off? You see that? So this guy, I don't know what he did, but you know, it was his time, man. It was his time. 70 times. Let me take it back, man. You heard what he said, man. Let me see here. One man was shot over 70 times on the... Over 70 times, man. And this is why, again, it's very imperative for you Israelites out there, right, to repent. Now, again, you know, everybody has a phone. Everybody has a computer. You know, so these lessons are going out. You know, now YouTube may be channel banning the lessons, but, you know, that's that's not an excuse, man. You see that? Everybody has at least heard one lesson. Unless you just don't have, you know, Wi-Fi in your area or whatever the case is. You know? 
So a lot of these people that you see getting destroyed, man, right? A lot of these people, they have shooed their hand, right, at the prophets, man. And when these people get judged, I'm telling you, they start thinking about all the wicked stuff that they've done. And then they start asking themselves if they could get one more chance while they're sitting there coughing up blood, man. You see? So this is why it's important for you individuals that are still breathing, right, to turn back from wickedness, man. You see that? Turn back from wickedness and call and worship on the names of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, and do your best to do what? Rehearse the righteous acts. You see that? Now, I'm pretty sure that this dude here, he did not expect that he was going to get killed or shot over 70 times. You see that? But look what happened to him. You see? And this is why we're telling you individuals to, to, to stop tearing, man. Stop putting off from day to day. Before, as a matter of fact, let's go ahead and grab that real quick. And I'm going to go ahead and grab some more articles. It's a lot of stuff that's happening, man. All right? Let's go ahead and read this, too. This is the book. Of Sirach, also known as the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 5, verse 7, it reads, Make no tarrying to turn to the Lord. You see that? So stop putting off, man. Continuing on. And put not off from day to day. You see that? So when you keep delaying, you tell yourself, well, I want to be wicked one more day, right? That day may be your last. It just may be your last. And for a lot of people, and for a lot of so-called blacks, Latino, Native Americans, today is their last. Tomorrow will be their last. You see that? So this is why we shouldn't what? Put off from day to day. Continuing on. For suddenly, right, shall the wrath of the Lord come forth. You see that? So when you least expect it, right, you women that are out there, you know, you going to the club, hanging out. Telling yourself you're going to be all right. You men that are out there being completely wicked. Telling yourself that you're going to get away with being wicked. For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth. And in thy security, right, thou shalt be what? Destroyed. You see that? So when you're comfortable thinking you can't be touched, right? Thinking that the most high is on your side, whatever God you worship. You see that? When you thinking you chilling and got your feet kicked up, that's when judgment walk through the door, man. You see that? And take you individuals out. Continuing on. And in thy security, thou shalt be destroyed and perish in a day of vengeance. You see that? So, you know, this is what you see happening out here, man. All right? Let me see here. Let's go ahead and bring in another article that I have. Let me see here. Let's bring this one out. And so lock it for the commercials. Hey, thanks for helping me out. Of course. You can easily get helpful customer service over the phone or on the progressive app. Pretty much. Because let me say something. It's not just you, it's not just men. It's women too. It's women too. Now let's go ahead and play this article here, man. Now to our big story at nine, she was shot in the head right inside of her own home. And tonight, her family is begging for help in catching whoever pulled the trigger. Our Sam Kramer live in Wauwatosa, where the victim is still hospitalized. Sam? Yeah, hi there, Mary. The family of 26-year-old Asia Dennis says she is a loving person and was just so full of life. But now doctors, nurses, and machines here at Freighter Hospital are quite literally keeping her alive is now her family just wants justice. She's fighting, she's fighting so hard. She's fighting so hard. And whoever did this is still walking around here living like they just okay. This is not okay. As her family navigates a nightmare. This is not okay. Erica Brister balances pain and heartache with the unknown. Her younger sister, 26-year-old Asia Dennis, is still in the hospital after a shooting on March 4th. She says Dennis's brain is only functioning at 1%. She doesn't look like herself. The swelling on her head is so tremendous that her heart can give out. Her left side is shattered. There's no repairing it. 
Brister says her sister went to a party Friday night at a bar near 91st in Silver Spring. Around midnight, Brister says Dennis made it home where she lives with her dad near 16th and Lincoln. He noticed she was drunk and had someone else's keys. Then a couple hours later, he hit a door being kicked in and the glass breaking the door swing open. Brister says two women broke into their home after 5 o'clock Saturday morning. They took the keys, but that wasn't enough. No, I'm, I'm finna kill her. I'm finna take her out. And reach right over my dad and shot my sister right in the back of her head as she was walking off. Now she hopes sharing this story will help someone who knows something to come forward and say so. I want justice for my sister. So you pretty much get it. You know, young gal went out to a bar, you know, and uh, got, you know, got drunk. You know, and I guess took somebody's keys, you know, and, and, and listen, man, see a lot of individuals that go out and when they receive judgment, they don't know that judgment is right there. You see that? And if you, I mean, you know, it's, it's, it's anyway, you know, so you heard the article, you know, this gal here, her. Her brain is functioning at 1%. She's gone, man. She's dead. You see that? It's only a matter of time before they pull the plug. So she's gone. You see? So this is why you men and you women, right? You heard what I banged her right over her pops in the back of the head, man. Right? Went to the hookah lounge doing God knows what. Came home drunk, staggering with somebody's keys and two gals, right? Spirits created for vengeance. Two gals kicked in the door, Pop's door, and reached over Pop and popped her in the head. You see that? This is why it is very, very, very imperative for you individuals. And we do these lessons all the time, all the time. For you individuals to return back to your power and to stop being wicked. You women that are out there, cut it out. Cut it out. Because bullets hurt, man. You see that? Bullets, they hurt. And you men that are out there, yeah. You know, but our people, man, they are stiff-necked people. So our people have to find out the hard way, man. So, so you brothers and you sisters that are out there, man, doing your best... Just keep doing your best, man. Because as you see, the judgment is not going to slow down. You see that? And I want to say there's another article where eight people, you know, they uh, the boat capsized in California somewhere and they all drowned. You see, so the Lord is not playing, man. He's not playing. And the times that we're heading into, they get ready to get far worse. More judgment is, is going to continue to happen, man. Let's keep going here and some of these precepts. And like I say, you know, just something real quick through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, because these individuals that ultimately get put to death, you know, and destroyed, you know, it's 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 their lot, man. Right? Let's read this first. This is the book of 2 Ezra, chapter 7. And I'm gonna start it uh, let me see here. This is the book of 2 Ezra, chapter 7, and I'm gonna start at verse 19. It reads. And he said unto me, there is no judge above the most high and none that have understanding above the highest. You see that? So you have to understand that the most high, he is the judge, Yahweh. You see? You have to understand that. Let's keep going here. Verse, verse, verse 20, and it reads, for there be many that perish in this life. You see that? Because they despise the law of the most high that is set before them. You see that? So a lot of, when you hear people being destroyed, it is because of this right here, man. They despise the hit of law. They despise the prophets. You see that? They despise doing the things that are right, but they love doing the things that are wrong. You see that? Let's keep going here. They call evil good and good evil. Second Ezra chapter seven, verse 21. For the most high have given straight commandment to as such as came. That they should like it, what they should do to live, even as they came, and what they should observe to avoid punishment. You see that, and hey, man, back in the ancient world, Moses told the people, "Choose you life that you should live." But our people, they're not choosing life, 
So when you see articles like this here happen, right, when you see things like this, you know, young gals being destroyed, right, it's because they have not chosen life. You see that? They are not doing the things that are avoiding punishment. You see? Let's keep going in this. All right? In Salakia. This is the book of 2 Ezra chapter 7. And I'm going to read verse 22. Nevertheless, they were not obedient unto him. You see? But spake against him and imagined vain things. You see that? That's, that's two-thirds of our people, man. Verse 23, and it reads, And deceived themselves, you see that? By their own wicked deeds. And said of the Most High that he is not. You see that? You got a lot of people that's in this spirit, man. When we tell people, you know, that the name of the Lord is Yahweh and the only begotten son is Yahweh Shah, our people, they don't believe, man. You see that? So they're saying that he is not, man, and knew not his ways. You see? So things like this here are going to continue to happen, you know, for you men and you women. Right. That's simply just, you know, just. But for you brothers and you few sisters out there, man, just 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 remember this, man. This is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 18. I'm going to start at verse 21. It reads, but if the wicked, you see that, will return from all his sins that he have committed. You see that? And keep all my statutes. Now, we can't keep all the statutes. You see that? You know, can't be over righteous, but we should still do what? Rehearse the righteous acts. You see, but our people, they're not, you know, they don't even consider, you know, continuing on and do that which is lawful and right. He shall surely what? He shall surely live. He shall not die. You see that? All his transgressions that he have committed, they shall not be mentioned unto him and his righteousness that he have done. He shall live. You see that? So this is the lot that we hope to fall under here, man, because when you look around, at the news articles, it is not so for a lot of people out here, man. You see that? Guy got shot over 70 times and she took one in the back of the head. You see that? So it don't matter if you take 70 shots or one shot. When, the, when your card is pulled, it's over for you. You see that? Let's go ahead and grab one more and I'm going to end this lesson, man. You know, because like I said, I want to keep it long and drawn out. Just repent, brothers and sisters. Repent. You know, and if you don't want to repent, this is the this is the outcome here, man. This is the book of Acts, chapter 3, verse 23, and it reads, And it shall come to pass that every soul which would not hear that prophet shall be destroyed from among the people. You see that? So every soul that shall not hear the prophets of the Lord, starting with the head of the apostle hard and men on down, all right, you're going to be destroyed from among the people. You see? Very simple, Don't very basic the lesson. Also investigating the latest murder in the city, the deadly shooting happened. Very simple, very basic lesson. All right? Repent, man. Repent while you still have time. Cause you cause you know, it's 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 this is why we should have fear, man. Until the next time I say, Shalawa. A little before midnight on the 3400 block of North 16th Street in Tioga, one man was shot over 70 times on the porch and killed.